Okay, welcome to part two of uh, our fire simulation tutorial. Um, let's get going with our actual programming. The last one was just an introduction. So uh, let's set up uh, our first class, which will be called uh, fire simulation. So um, let's just save this as fire simulation Java. Let's make class. Um, let's make it uh, public. And uh, let's uh, make uh, three strings, or <coughs> not not three strings, three variables. So let's have a private, um, and let's make that static, and let's have an int called x. We want uh, to make uh, it's like the arguments that you pass in. Uh, we want to do that in uh, this first class, and therefore we need three variables: uh, an x, y, and time. And we'll make those private because we can. We only need them to be able to access them from this class here. And we'll make them uh, static, um, just because we don't. Uh, we are going to use them in our main function, and that's a static function. So this is uh, the way to do it. Um, and let's make our main function here. Okay. So the main function has a parameter called uh, args, which is a string array. So that means that we can actually access uh, what we pass in um, using args something. So if, for example, we want um, to print out uh, args uh, 0, that will print out our first one. Um, we can try and save this and compile it. Oh. Let's see here. I think it was on decompiling. Wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Just choose automatic. There we go. Okay, so now we can uh, go back to our fire simulation and we can uh, say Java fire simulation and then pass in 100 and we'll print out 100 because we, that's the first argument. Um, then if we print in 100 again, it will only print out that first 100. I'll change it to 200 because we only want pass, we only print out the first one that we actually have. Um, but what if we pass in zero arguments? We will get an exit, um, an array out of bounds because we don't have anything on arc zero. So let's uh, do something about this. Let's make an if statement, for example, that checks if our arcs length um, is equal equal to zero. And uh, if it is, then we want to do like something with this we can for example say we don't have any arguments uh, no uh, no ax to print and then we say else we can do uh, oh. else we want to do this that should be pretty simple so let's see how it works fire simulation t no ax to print but if we have a hundred then we'll print a hundred so <clears throat> let's set up some, if we don't have any arguments, let's set up what we then want to do. And we want to set some default values. So let's say uh, print out, we say, uh, for example, the height is not specified. I can spell that correctly, yep. Uh, we are using um, default value of 400 pixels, for example. Okay. And then we want to set uh, the x value to 400 pixels. So we set x equal to 400. And then uh, we want to check, since we don't have any uh, variables at all, we will also want to do that for the uh, height and the time. So I'm lazy, I'll just copy. Uh, and then say width, and then say y equal to, I don't know, let's say 500. And let's change this to 500. Okay, and let's see here. So we will do the same for time. Uh, let's say time is not specified using default value of I don't know, 100 millisecond. And we set time equal to 100. And now we actually have our default values. Um, so let's. Uh, Try and do this. Let's pass in zero arguments, and we actually have 
our default values. Uh, then we want to maybe print out x, y, and time just to see them. So we can say x, y, oh, and time. Uh, yep. Okay. Let's see. Oh, we print out x, y, and time. Good. So, let's remove that. Uh, let's remove this. So, in our else statement, what do we want to do now? We want to say that x is equal to, this is if we have zero arguments, but if we have like one argument, what do we then want to do? If we have one argument, we'll set x, because that's our first argument, to our like x zero. And then we can uh, print out x, for example. So let's say, did I compile? Yeah, nope. Uh, yeah, OK, so this uh, is good. To, it got an error. Um, in compatible types of args, because it, x is an integer, but we found a string. So what do we then want to do? We want to convert that integer into a str uh, that string into an integer. So how to do that? Say integer dot pass end and then we with the argument so that's x zero oh, let's uh, try and run that see what happens okay cannot find symbol integer maybe I did not spell it correctly inter oh I have an r to min there we go and let's uh, try and uh, print out uh, x So let's see 100 and 100 so that works uh, if we have zero we still get the default if we have uh, what if but what if we like have a 10 D this could be a problem we will get an, a number format exception and because 10 D is not a number that we cannot or it's a string but we cannot pass it to an integer because D what is that that we need to do hex and stuff and we don't want to do that so how can we fix this? We can do a try and catch. So let's try and do that. <laughs> try. Um, so let's have a try and a catch. Oh, oh, catch. Good. And in our try, we want to try and see if we can do this here. <clears throat> and if we can do that, we will do it. But else, we will print out uh, cannot convert to oh to int Let's see what happened this then cannot convert to integer and if we have like a long we still get cannot convert to an integer but if we only have 10 we don't have any problems so here we can again set some default value so let's just uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. We can actually just copy the first one here, paste it, uh, paste it in, and say that uh, x is equal to 400. And now we can then uh, print out x. Let's see what happens. If we have 10, we print out 10. If we have 10, we say height not specified using default value 400, and we print out 400. The problem is that the height is not specified. That's incorrectly. We actually specify the height, but it's an invalid input. So instead of just printing this out, let's try something different. We will use system um, print, but we'll print it as a format. So what we're going to do is write invalid. Um, oh, that's again spelled wrong. Invalid. There we go. Um, input. And then we want to print out the input. So let's say percent uh, s. And we can say using default of default value of 400 pixel. And then we want to print line. Then we want to, instead of the percent s, we want to put in like what we passed in. So that's our um, exception. So therefore we use e dot get message. Now, in our 
in our um, catch we catch the exception e and that exception will be the wrong string so therefore we can put that in as a get message um, into the percent s um, and then uh, let's see if we have like something weird we can set invalid input for input string this here because our error message is for input string and then the error and then we say using default value of 400 pixel and print out 400 so now we have kind of fixed every problem we had with the first one we can print it out at 10 we can print out nothing and we can print out random stuff and we will still get our value that we want to use so that's for our x value then um, let's check for our y value now we check if the argument is less than zero and or is equal to zero sorry then we do this and else we have to do something else now if the value is zero then we'll do this but if it's like more than uh, oh if it's one sorry but that's because the like index is zero but if it's one then we do this but if it's two or more we want to do something else so let's make a new if statement and say that if arcs that length is less than two then we want to like set some default values uh, for 400 and 100 because if it's less than two then uh, we only have the x value and we want to right now when we just have like one value of for example 100 then we just get that one value we don't set some default values for the other ones so therefore we want to do this so we say um, we can for example print out uh, Oh, I can, I'll be lazy, cover these four lines here, print them in, uh, all these new lines here, um, let's say like this, okay, so now we can check if our value is, if we only have 100, then we say width is not specified, and we set a default value, and time is not specified, and set a default value. Um, so now we actually have for one value and then we need to do the same for two and three values so then in this else uh, if we'll have an else statement and that else statement will need to say that like exactly the same as up here um, and again again it needs to check if we can pass it as integers therefore we do try again uh, and catch there we go um, and let's say that try it checks if y can be made to an integer so we say integer that's correct well pass int arcs let's say one because that's the second argument and if it's not then we want to print out something so let's say uh, um, invalid I'm lazy to spell input send us using default value of and we used 500 pixels up here so let's say 500 pixel again uh, then we want a new line and we want to get our message which is e dot get message and then we want to set our let's make this a bit wider there we go um then want to set our y to 500 so we say y equal 500 and now let's see how this works oh what the okay oh i wrote print line but it's actually print format because else the percent is, does not work there we go so right now we have one argument that works let's say two argument that works but what about two weird arguments one right and one weird um, so that also works let's actually print out let's see if it print out x print out y print out time since we actually oh, we have used time but let's see it says 100 because let's clean it up there we go 100 and blah blah 
So 100, 500, 0. We haven't set time to anything. We'll get to that. And then if we do two weird ones, then we'll get 400, 500 because that's our default values. And 0, we will do this. So it's starting to get, it's starting to look like something we can use later on um, without getting any more weird er errors. So now we passed in this and that works. But now we need to check out if our length of our arcs is equal to directly 2 because um, then we can get in the first one and the second one but we have to set a default value but for the third one so therefore we say arcs dot oh, length equal equal to 2 if that's the case then we haven't passed in a time, uh, default value for the time and therefore we'll use the, what's default up here There we go. It's a problem. I can't really paste correctly. There we go. Um, and if that's not the case, then we know we have more than three values. Um, we can make again this try and catch that we did for the other ones to make sure that we pass in correct stuff and not just uh, some string that we cannot convert and uh, things like that. So we say time is equal to. Uh, integer just dot pass int, and then the, what it is? It's the third argument, which is oh, which is of course the second place. Um, and if that's not the case, then we want again to use a default value. So we say uh, print f. We say invalid input percent s using default value of let's say 100 milliseconds we also did that up new line e dot get message okay and then we say time equal 100 so now it should actually be all set up correctly so let's see nothing with one it works um, two it also works three it also works with one something weird something weird it also works and yeah three weird things also works um, there's a lot of different ways but it works so uh, that's how you can set up uh, our first thing so we can actually pass in some integers and uh, then use those later on so that's the first part and let's uh, continue and moving on to how we make uh, our basic GUI in the next part.